Microsoft Copilot is evolving fast, from smarter ways to search for your files in Copilot chat, to adding real-time web data into Excel, even building better SharePoint pages with Copilot's help. These features are designed to save you time, streamline your day, and help you get more done across Microsoft 365. And this tutorial will show you how, how to make the most of these features every single day. And just before we dive in, over 90% of people who watch our tutorials don't subscribe. If you're finding these tips useful, want to stay up to date with the latest in Microsoft 365, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you never miss a new skill every week. So let's dive into Copilot and find out what's new. Let's kick off with a new feature in Microsoft 365 Copilot Chat. When you're working with Copilot Chat in this way, you may want Copilot to access your files. Now previously we click on the attach button or go ahead and hit on the forward slash key in your prompt. And you will then go and type the file that you were looking for. But the problem is you often couldn't find the file you were looking for to begin with. With a new improvement in the dialog to search for files in Copilot, you'll now see we have all the old options. People, files, meetings and emails. But importantly, a new search box. Using this, we can now search and refine the search to find relevant files to using Copilot Chat. Let's go ahead and search for a document that I'm working on with Project Greenspace. With that done here, you'll now see it finds all relevant files with Project Greenspace, but we'll go ahead and select Files. But this time, I see loop files being returned, and that's where the search box can really help. Let's now add at the end of this phrase here, the word document to find documents related to this search. And now I can go ahead and select the project scope document and simply send it into Copilot to have a summary. So with this new experience in Copilot chat to search for your files, it makes it much easier than ever before. And there's another change in Microsoft Copilot chat, which allows us to add content into existing Copilot pages. But what does that mean? Well, let's go and try it out here. I've given Copilot a chat a prompt to find some key principles needed for UK planning for sign off. Now you can see here we've got a response back from Copilot. I can now go down and click Edit in Pages to generate a new Copilot page with this content I can now share using the power of Microsoft Loop. But let's move time forward. And often what can happen is you can have new conversations with Copilot like I've done here. Now I've had planning approval granted, I've asked Copilot for additional information around planning. But wouldn't this information be better supported on our existing Copilot page? We've covered this previously? Well, I believe it certainly could be. By scrolling down to the bottom of our Copilot response, you'll see a new drop down option and a new button to add to recent page. Left clicking this here will now allow us to go and select one of our existing Copilot pages. And whilst we have an existing response at the top of our page, now we're able to add in the additional information that we've got from Copilot onto our existing Copilot page. Helpful if you've already shared this page with others in your company and using it as a point of reference. So across all of your different Copilot chat conversations, so you can now add new content into any of your existing Copilot pages. And in a new change to Microsoft Excel, if you've got access to Microsoft 365 Copilot, you can now pull information from the web. So Excel, with the help of the Copilot sidebar, can search the web for different data points you can insert straight into your Excel spreadsheet. As an example here, I'll give a prompt to Copilot. We're gonna search the web and provide with a table of the top performing technology companies in the world and the share price in US dollars. So let's go ahead and give this to Copilot. On the right hand side, we now see something that Copilot in Excel has not done before. It begins to search the web to find relevant results, just like we would see previously inside a Copilot chat. And in seconds, we now get a response back from Copilot, listing out all the technology companies here with the relevant share prices, all taken from information from the web. And if you wonder where this data has been taken from to ensure it's accurate, you can go ahead and hover over these references, left click them to open them, to make sure the information is relevant and correct. But want to use it with your data? Just click on insert to new sheet. And in the left hand side, you'll now see a table, which has now been added into your Excel spreadsheet with information on the company name and the share price in US dollars. You could now begin to refine this data or use it as additional data point. 
You can also search for various different locations to go on holiday across the world, look at currency fluctuations and more. Now having the ability to search the web for data, bring it into Excel with Copilot makes it much easier to use than ever before. And there's a new change for IT administrators. I know that many IT administrators can become overwhelmed with the amount of Copilot configurations. But now in the IT Admin Center in Microsoft 365, administrators will now see a new option for Copilot. By left clicking it, this is now the Copilot control system. But interestingly, there's some information that can help you guide your company and your end users on the best ways to use Copilot. Because here on the screen here, you'll begin to understand your adoption of Copilot. How many people are using Copilot in the company that you've given a license to? In addition, we can also see the adoption in the last 30 days on the apps that are being used by your user base. In addition, you can left click into any of these options to drive down a little further. For example, we can see here that we're only scoring 10% for our AI assistance score because of course this is a demonstration environment. So with this information, you can drive decisions based on data points to improve the use of Copilot. But that's not all. If you head up to the other option for settings, you'll see a number of key settings and how Copilot works. For example, if you want to pin Microsoft Copilot and the free version into Microsoft Teams Outlook on the web, there's an option here to pin Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. By setting this option, you now pin it automatically, providing free access and quick access to Copilot across all those different apps. If you're not happy, you could also turn the pinning off. But that's not all. In addition, we can go ahead and select extensions. And you can also now choose who should have access in the company to Copilot agents, either a specific group of people or all of the company. In addition, an important one as well. If you wanted to also revoke the ability to have self-service trials and purchase for Copilot, you can also make this change here. If you're finding this video helpful and want to go even deeper with Microsoft 365, then why not check out our on-demand learning courses over at our website at Your365Coach. Our masterclasses are designed to give you real practical skills in tools like Copilot, SharePoint, Teams, Planner, Loop and more. So you can start using Microsoft 365 to actually work smarter rather than harder. So whether you're leading a team, managing projects or just want to feel more confident with the tools you use every day, there's something there for you. You'll find a full list of courses in our video description below. So why not go take a look and see how far you can go with Microsoft 365 with the help of us at Your 365 Coach. So let's dive back into Copilot and find what else is new. And working with SharePoint pages is now easy with Copilot. I know many of you struggle with the idea of creating SharePoint pages. App parts and other configurations can really put you off. But we can get started easier with the help of Copilot. In Project Green Space, I'd like to provide a project status update to the team for our team site. And I can do that with Copilot with little to no knowledge of SharePoint. To achieve that, click on the new drop down and select page with Copilot. In here now, we could define our own prompt in this box and also define what I'd like to share with the team or use a pre-configured Copilot template. And an example here to create a status page update for what's going on in our project. By left clicking, the prompt is pre-created for us. All of these areas in purple can be updated and I'll update them here in our prompt. With our prompt now added, we can also click on add files for better results and give it Word documents or other files to take information from to build out our SharePoint page. Let's now go ahead and search for some Project Greenspace documents and add this into our prompt to give it the most up-to-date results and build the content from it. With our Word files now added, we'll also consider the tone of the content. I'm going to ensure it's enthusiastic. And I'm going to make it more concise in content. When that's done, I'll go ahead and click on Create and Copilot in SharePoint will now begin to create the page for me. What's even more impressive is it does it in real time. Behind me here now, you'll see the content is added in real time into the page. You can make any adaptions later on once Copilot has added all the content in. It makes it a lot easier to get started with your SharePoint page. And in a few minutes, we have a completed SharePoint page. It's taking information from our Word documents about community feedback, key progress areas, plans, handover process and timeline. 
But of course, you may have to make some changes. For example, this image holding a ring is not really suitable. But with the power of SharePoint, we can simply left click into it and simply then change the image so that's more suited to Project Green Space. But also, we can use design ideas. By highlighting a section in your page and selecting design ideas on the right, you can also make changes to your SharePoint section and bring in different content ideas. For example, this image here works really well with our feedback. We can see that your Copilot page can be adapted and improved further, but it helps you get there really quickly in SharePoint with the help of Copilot. And finally, there are also improvements in the way that your voice is processed and captured in Teams meetings. Now, from a Copilot perspective, it means that when you have a meeting transcription, Copilot is aware of who you are and will correctly add your name to those notes. But it also has additional powers. Any background noise can also be removed because it will also understand your voice profile. So to be able to set a voice profile in Microsoft Teams to get those capabilities is really simple. We'll head over to the free dot menu and select settings. Then head down to recognition. Now you'll see voice and face, but today we're only focused on this voice option and it will give us voice isolation as well as that improvement with Copilot transcriptions. What we'll do is select create voice profile and now we'll be given a block of text to read out loud. And once you've recorded this, Microsoft Teams will hold your voice profile, but it won't be used for any other purposes like AI voice generation. Primarily, it's gonna be used to improve transcription in Copilot and also voice isolation. So by setting this up here, it's a great way to improve how you work with Copilot for transcription and more. So looking back at all of these new features, I think that all of these new features are genuinely positive improvements. And not upgrades for the sake of it, designed to help you get more done in Microsoft 365 without needing to know every detail about how Microsoft 365 works behind the scenes. Take the ability to create a SharePoint page in minutes with the content already written and the page layout in SharePoint already sorted. It's a massive step forward without needing to know how SharePoint works. That's where the real power is when we also consider what these updates can do. But I'd love to know, what do you think of these new features? How do you see yourself using them in your day-to-day -day work? Why not drop your thoughts in the comments below and let me know. And finally, don't be part of the 90% that don't subscribe to this channel. If this tutorial has helped you, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you're always up to date with the latest Microsoft 365 skills. So other than that, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.